Good evening, people watching Miss 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you a verse of scripture. It is actually out of Hebrews 9.14. It says, How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? It's only by the blood of Jesus. Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life how do you come to that you admit you're a sinner in need of christ the moment you put your faith and trust in christ the moment you accept christ as savior not only are you saved but you are justified by the blood of jesus protected by the blood of jesus rapture ready which is going to happen at any time just hang on it's going to happen at any time and you're sealed until the day of redemption which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, teach you, change you. That's what he does. He changes you. This thing with all of these wars have set, <laughs> I want to say, have set the stage for the great tribulation. This is what, now Michael Schneider wrote this and it's very interesting what he says because everything he said here is true. He said, did you see, we just bombed the Houthis. Each new day in 2024 seems to bring some sort of new escalation and for now, most Americans can ignore all of the fighting because it is all happening on the other side of the globe. Okay. But how are we, but how are they going to feel when the U.S. is actively engaged in multiple wars simultaneously and those wars are directly affecting everyday life inside the U.S. There you go, right there. So, the time to speak out against the foolish policies of these leaders is before the entire world is engulfed in flames. Once thousands of missiles start flying, it's too late. Most Americans don't realize this, but this weekend, coming up, this weekend, Taiwan will hold an election which may determine whether the U.S. and China go to war. In fact, China has literally framed this election as a choice between war and peace. Across the Pacific, Taiwan will this weekend hold once one of the most closely watched polls globally, and its outcome could impact rocky U.S.-China ties and dictate geopolitical trends in 2024. China has called it, it a choice between war and peace. I didn't know this. I had no idea about this. Interesting. On January 13th, 19.54 million people, 83% of Taiwan's population will be eligible to vote, including 1.3 million possible first-time voters, according to the Central Election Commission in Taipei. At stake are the promise of uh, myriad social reforms, the future of Taiwan's economic and uh, energy policies, and as always, its relationship with neighboring China, balanced against its decades-long closeness with America. We shall see what happens, but the candidate 
that has been leading in the polls is the candidate that China hates the most. Taiwan presidential front runner, I think the name is Li Chang Tai or Li Chang T's lead over the main opposition rival has narrowed significantly, setting the stage for a close race in the final weeks before the pivotal uh, vote. Lay's ticket representing the ruling party leads with 37.3. Why is this important before I go on? Because like I just said earlier in this story, this is going to lead the way for either peace or war with China. So the ruling party's uh, leads with 37.3% of support, followed by the other opposition uh, with 33.4% according to a survey conducted between December 19th and December 21st by Polster. So if this Li Ching, I think his name is Li Ching, Li Ching Tai, if he wins, a Chinese invasion becomes very likely. And the moment that China invades Taiwan, the U.S. and China will be at war. Meanwhile, the war in the Middle East just got even more interesting. It is being reported that the U.S.-led coalition just struck more than a dozen targets in Yemen, which already happened. This article came out yesterday. A U.S.-led coalition has attacked the sites in Yemen associated with Iranian-backed Houthi rebels who have been firing dozens of drones and missiles into the Red Sea, into the shipping lanes. So the U.S. strikes a significant escalation of the U.S. involvement in the Middle East fighting amid Israel's war in Gaza. The attacks deepen U.S. involvement in the region. In recent reports... The Pentagon has attacked Iranian-backed militias in Iraq and Syria who have targeted U.S. troops with rocket attacks. In addition to being at war with Iranian-backed militias Iraq and Syria, now <laughs> we are essentially at war with the Houthis. We are being told that the targets included radar systems, drones, storage, and launch, ballistic missiles, storage, launch sites, and all this other stuff. Now this goes on to say, this is why I kept saying all of these wars are connected. They are connected to one big happy, happy union to the Antichrist. He goes on to say that needless to say, this war in the Middle East is still only in the very early stages. It's going to get much, much worse. The war in Ukraine is going to get a lot worse. And unfortunately, Taiwan and China. Now this uh, election, like I said, I didn't know about the election that, that they're holding this weekend. I can't wait to find out about this now. So it says the next round probably won't have your number on it, but it might. Hundreds and thousands have already deceased and many of them never even received a proper burial. He's talking about the Ukrainians. As the Ukrainians lose ground, they will increase and become increasingly desperate, which they are now. Some Ukrainian leaders have already suggested using U.S. supplied weapons to strike missile launch sites inside Russia. Now the war should have ended, this war with Ukraine should have ended a long time ago but it didn't. At some point, someone is going to push things too far and then there will be no going back. 
A lot of people still out there have faith in these government officials. I, I can't believe that, but they do. They still have faith that the leaders know exactly what they're doing and that they will be able to keep World War III from erupting. Unfortunately, the truth is this. World War III has already happened and it's happening now. The global events are out of control. Everything is out of control. So now you got the U.S. being on all fronts all at once. Multiple fronts at one time. How do you think this is going to play out? How do we think this is going to play out? Because it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty at all. Across the, you got the, across the Pacific, Taiwan, holding an election that is closely watched in the global community. You got Russia and Ukraine still fighting. And you got Israel. And you got the U.S. going also with the Houthis, head to head. Head to head. And you got Iran vowing <laughs> retaliation. And with the help of Iran, North Korea, Russia, and China, they're probably going to get their retaliation. The U.S. is not... I hate... You know what? The reality is this. If you still have faith in a political figure, you have bigger issues. You have great bigger issues. Seriously. Because I've said this before and I will say it over and over and over again. There is not one politician that is going to be able to fix the spiritual problem. People are waiting for Trump to come back in 2024. I got news for you. We, or I, I doubt seriously we have another election. Seriously. So, what do you do? You get saved. That's what you do. You put your faith and trust in Christ Jesus and his blood. Because that's the only way of escape. And that's the only way you're going to be saved. Not in that order. The only way you're going to be saved and the only way of escape. I'm going to link this article in the description box. Um, China has t said that this election, he, they titled it a choice between war and peace. If they go up against Taiwan, the U.S. will not, I don't see how the U.S. will be able to, uh, to help them. I don't see it. Now, unless I'm missing something, I don't see it. I'm going to link this in the description box. And if anything else comes up, well, I will be back on. Thank you.